themselves weren't happy with President Biden's comments. President Zelensky had a pointed tweet today saying, quote, there are no minor incursions, just as there are no minor casualties. CBS's Holly Williams is in Ukraine, where tensions are reaching a critical level. It's bigger than a conflict between two countries. It's bigger than Russia and NATO. With new satellite images showing the roughly 100,000 Russian troops massed on Ukraine's border, in Berlin today, the Secretary of State promised a swift, severe response if Russia invades. It may seem like a distant regional dispute or yet another example of Russian bullying. But at stake, again, are principles that have made the world safer. Russia claims it's threatened by aggression from the West and it's demanding security guarantees to defuse this crisis, including a ban on Ukraine joining NATO. That's something the U.S. says it will never agree to. Russia says it has no plans to invade Ukraine, while some believe Russia's president, Vladimir Putin, is playing a high-stakes game of brinkmanship, ratcheting up tensions to extract concessions from the U.S. and its allies. But in Ukraine's capital, Kyiv, they're prepared for a Russian attack with renovated bomb shelters like this one. And they're already fighting a Russian-backed rebellion in the country's east, a conflict raging for over seven years that's killed more than 14,000 people. We were in the trenches this month with Ukrainian forces, trained and equipped by the US. They're in little doubt about Russia's intentions. A very big possibility. A very big possibility yes, that yes. the Russians will invade. Yes, yes. The US has now authorized its allies here in Europe to transfer American-made anti-tank and anti-aircraft weapons to Ukraine. Secretary Blinken will meet with Russia's foreign minister tomorrow in Geneva. Nora. Those weapons are a big deal. Holly Williams, thank you.